Love. Hey. I say I really appreciate you coming here. Yeah, I don't really know why I'm here, but um, you know, you wrote me into all sorts of things, I suppose. I I trust that you know things, and just know that I I know what's going on between between us. This is more important than that. Yeah, I just think it's a pretty bad idea. Um, but I know I really won't be able to do anything to um, prevent this without kind of making things worse. So, um, I guess harm just, reduction is harm reduction, I suppose. I guess just remember that there's not just me. There's those those two in there, and that's that's part of the discussion. Probably just. Let's just do it. More importantly, there's 300 other people watching. Yeah. Whatever. It's just dead. The war room. Make yourselves at home. A little late for our lights, huh? I'd like keep it a little festive. Helps with my mood. Come in. Uh, who wants to hold the camera while I ramble about the other world yeah, for like five hours? Camera uh, you might want to move back here to get. Okay. Yeah. So, before we go today, um, which is pretty early, we've reserved a bit of time. Um, I just wanted to run through every time I've either gone or possibly gone to the other world. Wanted to talk about it. Make sure you guys know everything you can. Well, it's. I just want you to be here to. Nigel, I just want you to be here to help explain some things. I know you're a science guy. So, just, you know, spitball ideas, I guess. Um, yeah. It seems to me that the other world is a, um, another plane of existence. Um, Parallel to our own, pretty standard multiverse theory stuff, um, or the many worlds interpretation rather. Um, yeah, it has a completely different ecosystem, um, laws of physics not totally dissimilar to our own, but dissimilar enough. Um, seems to intersect with our universe at a really large number of, of points, um, surprisingly enough. Um, what else? Oh, it's life forms, some intelligent, some not. Most are dangerous, it seems. Um, I don't, I think it's too early or we have not enough really experience or evidence to tell what effect um, you know, it has, it, the, being in, being in the other world has on the human body, I can't imagine it's good, um, voicing my, op I am personally opposed to you guys going into the other world, I think it's a really bad idea, um, if you, you will, you, I can't stop you, unfortunately, so you do go, please do not mess with the ecosystem, do not interact with any um, life forms that you find. Do not attempt to kill the director because it will not work. Do not attempt to kill um, what what's the other creature? Uh, Wendigo. The Wendigo. It will not work. Um, you'll probably die. Um, don't touch anything. Don't eat anything. Don't disturb anything. Don't go, but I can't stop you. So, yeah. Here, I have all of the videos that have the other world somewhat implicated.
I don't know if that's the other world. I think it is. Probably adjacent to it, at least. Somehow. Feels familiar. Yeah. This I'm unsure of. Um... This could just as easily be normal what nighttime, like, 12 hours later. Just, I, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah. No. No. No way. That's a known gateway, right? That is a known gateway. Though, so. they've just brought me around, like, Earth before. Well, so, well, so, okay. Mm. But, how, like, mm. it's not like you're not trying to do the other world when you do that. True. Robert described it as a relay. Yeah. You go into the other world, come out somewhere else. That doesn't look no, that doesn't look like regular nighttime in that video though. No, it doesn't. Daytime. Right. If you keep going from place to place, how are you gonna know when you're out? Like, can, we skip, can we can we get can we can you get that? Can you skip to the next one, please? Yeah, we that, should. please. Sure. On, I don't want to see that. Lowest point, obviously. I don't need to go into this at all. That's no, no, skip I don't it. want to see that. All other world. Yeah. Here, Robert comes out of the other world in this moment. That's about it. That's... Hold on, should we replay that? That's a pretty... That's a lot of it. Probably a lot. That's a lot. Wow. Just... I, I, I think... I haven't seen this video in a long time. I forgot how... Um... Game of Trouble works like that. That's... Okay. Pretty remarkable. We, I want to see that one more time. A lot of, oh wow, so a lot of energy looks like it's dispelled when you travel through the gateway. Yeah. But... That's weird. That's about all the other world nonsense in that. Yeah. So, I'm curious as to what Eric knows about traversal. Yeah. <clears throat> I... It feels almost trance-like, in a way. You, you would know. Um, I had a couple of times, definitely, when I was younger, uh, that I, and I didn't know any of this, so thank you for all your investigation, but where I would, I mean, I'd, I'd go to bed, and I might wake up somewhere and be stuck for several days in, like, a cold, dark, you know, damp, uh, noises that I couldn't comprehend, places that didn't seem to exist, um, just feeling like a dream that you couldn't wake up from, you know, like a night terror. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like we're gonna have to be really careful when we go today. Yeah. Uh, just, just not to get stuck, you know? This is why I'm hinging on the fact that both of us know a bit about traversal now. Yeah, for sure. I'm wondering what you know about the things that Robert knew, primarily, about purposeful I mean, movement. up until recently, I, it was never purposeful. I never wanted to. I never wanted to go to the other world. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know much about, because also like, I mean, being stuck as the pursuer, it's not like I was the one traveling. Yeah. So that felt like I was asleep and almost a backseat in my own body. With dreams, you, you can tell you're sleeping. If you plug your nose, you can't breathe. But with the, un with the other world, like, there is nothing like that. That will, you know, secure that this is real, this is reality. Yep, for sure. Like, how will we know when it's over? Like, it could keep going for all we know. Like, you could think everything's fine and then wake up and just, nope, you're back in the shit. Like, they, yeah. Yeah. Like, how do we know that when it's over, if we haven't taken anything with us, or if, like, like, there's no way to know when it ends, like. Yeah, and we could just get stuck for a long time. I was lucky enough that I didn't. Um, you have the knowledge of purposeful travel, so you should be all right. People but, will starve in there. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'm worried. I. I mean, I think it's a bad idea, but I. I feel like it's something that we have to do. So I'm going along. I think. I think it's something we should definitely. We're gonna have. We have to try sooner or later, and why not now, right? Yeah. So yeah. People watching now. Yeah, exactly. It's not a, not a great reason. It's whatever. 
we're onto something, and I don't think we can just go back to our normal lives until we've seen this to its end. Exactly. You know, I've, I've tried to leave it. I've tried to do other things. And it always falls apart. I, I often find my way back there somehow, one way or another. Yeah. Whether I want to or not. Is there a particular layer that you've been to the most, that you've seen the most often? Um, no, I've kind of tried to block a lot of it out of my memory. Um, just, I mean, not want, being forced to go somewhere, it's pretty traumatic, right? Um, yeah. <clears throat> and it's all just kind of a haze. So I'm sure if we did enough thinking and digging, if you kept picking my brain, I could probably figure something out, but... I mean, I just, I just remember the feeling of claustrophobia and being stuck and just constantly on the run, but you can never get away. I know that the Pursuer has taken you to other points in time as well. Yeah. And I'd like to know a little about what you remember from those periods. <sighs> Let me think about that one. Okay. You have anything? I don't know, like, I, I'm not sure, like, there's just a lot we don't know, like, how do we know, you know, can we take something back, like, could something, like, come with us, like, how do we know for sure that, you know, it's just, it's over, because, like, you know, you, you just won't know, like. <sighs> yeah, I'm worried, but. I mean, have you had any dreams before where you felt like you've been there? It's just, it's hard because I don't know which dreams, like, mean anything and which don't. Like, I, like, I've woken up before, like, completely just, just lost and, you know, I don't know if that's significant or if it's not or, like, what I'm seeing is significant or if it's not. And it's just, like, I don't know, it's a fucking mixed bag. It's just... What I'm curious about is I'm beginning to wonder if there have been any times where you've been in the other world and didn't know it. That seems like a very real possibility to me. I think I definitely have a couple of times. I think I wouldn't know until I was there. Cause okay. I just... You get a strong feeling of deja vu like you've done something before. Yeah. And then you might, you might have, like, you might be dreaming, but then you just, you wake up and you realize that the things you were doing were not real or somewhere else. Some of it just feels unmistakably real. Yes, exactly. I guess there's only one way to find out mm -hmm. if any of it matches for you. Yeah. Because I don't know what's chronic nightmares and just what's just that. Uh, every time I was stuck time traveling, um, it almost felt like every place I had been to was familiar but still different in some way <clears throat> like when you show up to an old friend's house after a long time but you were like a child yeah and everything feels like almost mirrored or maybe you lay down on a bed that you know is your bed but you're laying in a different spot and it doesn't quite feel right nothing ever i always felt like well like like a guest like a visitor which is what i was i was out of my point in everything yeah so, yeah. Um, I mean, there's not a lot of memory. It's all very uh, here and there, very hazy. Noth nothing viv too vivid comes back, if that makes any sense. Like, I just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just really, it's just, re like, I follow really lucid dreams, and I just, I do not know at what point. Am I taking something with me? Am I going to die now, or am I going to wake up? Like, what is the, like... Absolutely been there. Like, I just don't know, like... Like, I just don't know. It just so happens that's just what it's like. Yeah, should we talk outside for a second? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, can you give me that? Yeah. Thank you, Eric. You the best. Yeah, I just don't really understand why, like, you're putting so much, like, value in uh, what he's saying, because we both know that he is someone that 
has had mental issues before, and I don't, you're, you're putting so much, like, putting so much faith into, like, literally dreams, and I think that's really unreasonable, um, because it's just totally not verifiable, and he's someone that has a history of, no, I just don't understand, like, why are we doing this? The two things I have to say to that are, for one thing, we can't trust what these officials say, except for Dr. Pingridge. And maybe Cartland. See, that's just more conspiracism, which is like literally what you've been doing for the last like four years. Conspiracism. It? I stole their documents and I saw what they had to say. I don't care. Look, Who I, the fuck I, is the tomb I, seeker I'm, and why does he want Paul's body? I don't care. I'm literally basing my, what I'm seeing off of, off of what I'm saying. Or sorry, I'm basing what I'm saying off of what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is someone who has serious mental problems and you're basing uh, so much, so much of your theories on. You know, whether whether what we're dealing with is real or not, like, it's just, it's not. You forget the dreams that the other people have had. My care. father had a dream about something that happened decades later. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really care. I think it's not concrete evidence. It's, it's unreasonable to take risks. Basically. You're acting like you haven't seen the videos before. Well, no, I have, but I'm just saying that, like, it's not, you're, it's not reasonable to take the actions that you're taking based on that that standard of evidence like that's just not responsible like you're putting yourself and other people in danger based on dreams like that's pretty silly you can tell me i told you so if it turns out that danny is like you say crazy i but i don't think he's cra look i'm not trying to place a value judgment on him i don't think he's a bad person i don't think he's malicious obviously not i'm just saying that like you need to put what he's saying in your perspective because he's someone who needs help fundamentally. And I know there's, you know, whatever the psychological or government institutions that we're talking about are not, have, have a bad history of interacting with you and him and every, whatever, but like that doesn't change the fact that he is still someone that probably needs therapeutics. Like, I don't. We'll be cautious about it. Okay. He has medication. See, you say that all the time, but it's like. You say you'll be cautious, but then you don't like to actually be cautious. Or you I'm don't as like... cautious as I can be. That's, you know, you, you, yeah. It's like you say that, and then you just kind of do whatever anyway. It's it's really like it feels like you're just kind of being disingenuous and trying to get me, get me off uh, off your back. And it's you know, it's kind of that's why I'm not going. You know what I mean? Okay, like. You know. I can't change your opinion. Oh yeah, but. see, you're keep doing that. Whatever. It's let's just go back. I don't care. It's fine.